Welcome to the weather broadcast for the Friday, the 22nd of August 2025. From our studios in Jimmy, and we present Marshall Alexander as we take a look at this survey chat analysis with Dominica here in the Green Circle. We are seeing analyzed near the Lesser Antilles, a tropical wave which is presently impacting the area. And out in the central Atlantic, we have another tropical wave which is expected to approach the area sometime late Monday into Tuesday of next week. And we have a third tropical wave just off the coast of Africa and this one is expected to approach the area sometime late next week see next week Thursday into Friday or so now let's take a look at the seven day outlook now this wave here has a high chance of development and it has a, has a high chance of development during the next two to seven days as it's expected to move in a novelty direction away from the Lesser Antilles including Dominica here now the second wave in the central atlantic has a medium chance of development as is projected to approach the area of the Les antilles expected to be in the region of the Les antilles by around late monday into tuesday so we are monitoring this one as well as another tropical wave out in the far eastern atlantic now let's take a look at some satellite imagery and as you can see most of the convection associated with that wave near the Les antilles has moved to the north of the northern Leeward Islands away from the island of Dominica here in the Green Circle and here we can see the convection associated with that system in the Central Atlantic as well as the convection associated with that third tropical wave near the coast of Africa as they continue to move in a westerly direction towards the region of the Lesser Antilles. Now let's take a look at the moisture looking at the moisture associated with these features here we can see an increase in moisture that's in purple and in darker brown, just to the north of the northern Leeward Islands here, associated with that tropical wave. And as you can see here, that most of the moisture has been pulled towards the north, away from the island of Dominica, with some areas, some moisture still lingering in the region of Dominica as well. And out in the central Atlantic, this area of moisture associated with that tropical wave here, as it continues to move in a westerly direction towards the area and out here, Moisture associated with that foot tropical wave expected sometime next week. Now, taking a look at the siren dust, here we can see some siren dust still interacting with those systems. Or here we have some siren dust which can be expected to reach the area sometime around Sunday. So, again, we're advising people with respiratory sensitivities to be alert and to exercise caution as this, this siren dust continues to interact with these systems and hence reducing the chances of development. Now again, let's take a look at satellite imagery. Here we can see some siren dust in the region here. And also we can see some cloudiness and also some thunderstorm activity associated with that tropical wave just near the northern Leeward Islands. And all here in the Central Atlantic, cloudiness associated with that tropical wave in the Central Atlantic as well as some thunderstorm activity. And all here, we can see the cloudiness associated with that third tropical wave near the coast of Africa. Closer to home, Dominica did experience an increase in cloudiness during the morning period. This resulted in partly cloudy to cloudy skies across Dominica. Now, taking a look at earlier radar imagery and what it indicated. Some scattered showers, some light showers, scattered showers moved across Dominica during today. And also we could see some moderate to heavy showers, mainly near the Leeward Islands during the morning period. Now, tonight's weather is expected to be partly cloudy to occasionally cloudy and breezy at times with a, few with a few scattered showers and a slight chance of isolated thunderstorms. So that is partly cloudy to, to occasionally cloudy skies, few scattered showers and a slight chance for isolated thunderstorms tonight with temperatures down to 25 degrees Celsius on the coast and 24 degrees Celsius in the interior. And tomorrow's weather is expected to be partly cloudy to occasionally cloudy and breezy at times with a few scattered showers. Temperatures are expected to be up to 34 degrees Celsius on the coast and 30 degrees Celsius in the interior. Some high temperatures expected. Sea conditions tomorrow expected to be slight to moderate with waves peaking up to 7 feet. As a result, we are advising small craft operators and sea beavers to access some caution high tide wave at 4.13 a.m. and 4.56 p.m. and low tide 10.49 a.m. and 10.32 p.m. That's tomorrow. Now looking ahead for the next three days. A relatively dry atmosphere can be expected ahead during the next three days with the, with the onset of siren dust expected on 
Sunday and Monday. So again, we're advising people with respiratory sensitivities to be alert and to exercise caution to avoid complications. Some high temperatures can also be expected during the free day period. So you should stay cool and stay hydrated. Now we expect to see an increase in wind speeds beginning Sunday and into Monday with winds peaking up to 40 km per hour all onto your hats as well as an increase in wave heights with waves peaking up to 8 feet on Sunday and Monday. Again, small cap operators to be you're advised to be an alert and to exercise caution. Sunrise tomorrow will be at 5.52 a.m. and sunset will be at 6.24 p.m. Again, stay informed, stay safe, scan our QR code here, follow us on our WhatsApp channel and also search Dominica Met to follow us on Facebook as well as Instagram or visit our website at www.weather.gov.dm for up-to-date weather information. See you next time. Stay safe. Continue to monitor as I bring you up-to-date information. Have a good weekend. See you next time.